You got zero at the table, man. All kinds of shit breaks through. Pick me, pick me. Greetings, humans, and welcome back. I'm Joey Pigtails, and I'm bringing another update from Las Vegas. As you all know, in every single one of my videos, I talk about being positive and being a good human. The footage you're going to see here is a testament to that. If we aren't enjoying the life we are living and working to make a life better for everyone, then what exactly are we doing here? So, some of you may have seen the short I posted of Jungle Man Dan Case giving some lessons in wizardry at Friday night's CSOP charity poker tournament hosted by the legendary Joey Ingram. If not, the background footage you see here will be showcasing the amazing time I had supporting this great cause, and I'll have the full video of the hand at the end so that you can see how that went down exactly. Some cool facts. The CSOP has been around for around 10 years, and they support a variety of charities from Habitat to Humanity to Make-A-Wish to local food banks and uh, college scholarship programs. The work Matt Stout and the rest of the team at the CSOP are doing uh, are, is absolutely fantastic for the community. And if you ever wanted to play in a poker tournament where you could rub elbows with prominent individuals from the area, such as some of the poker's elite players like Jungle Man Dan Gates, while also supporting a good cause, this is the event for you. So let's talk about my trip since the last update. I played a lot of cash games and tournaments over the past few days. I wish I could report some positive results for you all, but things haven't been going all that well in the felts. I played a good 15 hours or so of five card PLO double board bomb pod games, uh, both in Paris and in King's Lounge. The experience has been interesting, to say the least. The bots are typically massive, and you can bet that the river cards are going to make someone really happy, and maybe even make someone else cry. I managed to spike quads in two hands in a row at one point that helped me with a recovery, but also saw a lot of my monster hands get wrecked. Five card double board bomb pods are one of the most volatile poker variants you can find, so it may be time to start making some content geared towards that and talking about some of the nuance of nuttedness and draws in this game. Let me know if you're interested in that kind of thing. As far as tournaments go, I fired in the $600 no limit hold'em and PLO round around for a few bullets and ended up bricking that events. I didn't really get anything going in that one at all. I also fired a few bullets in the $600 PLO events, and I did manage to build a stack in that quite a few times, but I did, wasn't able to make the cash. I also late registered for the WSOP Bomb Pot event coming in at level 7 after the second break. I managed to build my stack from 25k all the way up to about 70k. But I lost a couple of hands and then made a pretty bad mistake and hold a check raise bluffing into a set to see me get crippled and knocked out. You know, it seems like in a lot of these tournament situations, especially on this trip, I consistently find myself playing well and building a stack, and then running some sort of bluff line and losing it all. The big bluff never, ever works. So why do I keep going for it? There's a mental game leak here, and maybe a few of them. And I'm going to be working on a professional repair for those holes, instead of continuing to apply duct tape and hoping for the best. Which leads me to this. I had the chance to talk with my buddy Joey, who you can see here, living his best life with his love Colette. I'm lucky to have met Joey, as he is wise as he is good-hearted. Just as wise as he is good-hearted. While Joey loves supporting charity, what I love about Joey is that he came out to this event to support me. To help me network and me help me meet new people and build some brand awareness for my buddy Jared's new venture, VegasDay.com, and sponsored me for this event. Jared has a vision of mentoring guys and helping them level up their game and getting them out on the town to enjoy themselves and break out of their shells, so make sure to tell Jared that Joey Pigtail sent you if you end up reaching out to him. Anywho, Joey and I explored my recent results in mindset and he helped me talk through some of the things that have been weighing me down as well as identify and deconstruct some of the mental barriers I had placed on myself. Poker is a stressful business, and having the opportunity to talk with others who have been there, who are there, who are going to go through it in the near future is such a beneficial opportunity to learn and get an outside perspective. I encourage all of you, both poker players and non-poker players alike, to talk to your friends and be open and honest about your successes and struggles. 
and to be receptive to the feedback that they provide. Your friends want to see you succeed. Let me repeat that. Your friends want to see you succeed. Be open to their insight, and even if you don't end up following their advice, hear their perspective and reasons behind the choices they made can help you to find your path. So right now I'm planning on heading back home to Florida Tuesday night. I'm going to be having breakfast with Rob Gardner on Tuesday to talk about some industry opportunities before I leave, and I still have a couple more days to play some cash games with the remaining amount of bankroll I brought with me. So I'll probably be doing uh, PLO Professor's $100 to 10K challenge later today and tomorrow in Paris. So if you're in town, stop by and say hi. I'll be at the loudest table having the most fun, or as I like to call it, the best game in the room, baby! So look for me there. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you all and your support for my uh, crazy roller coaster journey here, and I look forward to sharing more good news with you very, very soon. Until then, I'm Joey Pigtails, and I am transparent, reminding you to be a good human. Bye.